welcome to our confirmation mass for 2021. We welcome especially those who haven't been back to mass yet since the pandemic um, and all the sponsors and family members who have traveled to be here today. Our celebrant this evening is Father Kevin Segerblum. Our concelebrants are Father Silvio, our pastor, and Father Kyle, our parochial vicar. We also welcome visiting Deacon Chris. and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the spirit of truth, which the world cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows it, but you know it, because it remains with you and will be in you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord. I present to you its young men and women who have prepared and are ready to receive the fullness of Christian initiation in the Sacrament of Confirmation. Wendy Alberto, Jacob Amberg, Casey Ayala Delgado, Rebecca Bowman, Brian Cruz Macedo, Asayala Sparza, A.D. Granados Garcia, Grace Gardner, Ross Utica, Mary Catherine Kirkwood, Claire Kerwin, Brenda Lamas, Mario Lamas, Stephen Lewis, Yesenia Lopez Hernandez, Emily Savelle Macario Lopez, Eddie Miguel, Jonathan Martinez, Soliana Marin, Jessica Monroy Ponce, Jonathan Monroy Ponce, Jose Nunez Vargas, Luis Rodriguez Perez, Peter Rudman, Stephanie Sanchez Nava, Fernando Sierra Perez, Amelia Taylor, Wyatt Taylor, Dylan Taylor, Faith Taylor, Jorge Villeda Olguin, Andrew Warner, Hildana Weldu, and Jonah Winter. A question that young people sometimes ask when they're preparing for confirmation is, what difference does it make? But Peter changed dramatically after he and the other disciples were given the gifts of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. On the day of Pentecost itself, when he was filled with the Spirit of God that Jesus had promised, and his preaching persuaded 3,000 people to believe in the risen Lord and be baptized. Then just a few days later, Peter and John were going up to the temple area to pray. Peter, again after his confirmation, was able to heal that man in just the same way that Jesus had healed. That was the difference confirmation made for him, and it has made all the difference for our church ever since. I have to tell you that confirmation made all the difference in my life too. And what was most remarkable to me, I began to try to live my life more in service to God and to other people. This third and final sacrament of initiation in our Catholic Church is called confirmation because it firms up the Holy Spirit in those who have already received him in baptism, and it makes them ready to take on their mission 
that God wants to give them. As God had a mission for his son, so he has a mission for each one of you confirmands. You are all called to be servants of God, just as Jesus was. God has chosen you and is pleased with you for trying to do his will with your whole lives. God never abandons you. When times seem darkest, he is right there and he provides your light. Even if you might stray from him, his mercy is always looking for you and ready to receive you back. This sacrament of confirmation does make all the difference for a Catholic Christian. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and empty promises? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today through the sacrament of confirmation is given to you in a special way, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? I do. Dearly beloved, let us pray to God the Almighty Father for these his adopted sons and daughters, already born again to eternal life in baptism, that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts, and through his anointing conform them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. Let us pray. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these your servants to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin, Send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
for these his servants, whom the gift of the Holy Spirit has confirmed, that planted in faith and grounded in love, they may bear witness to Christ the Lord by their way of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles and willed that through them and their successors the same Spirit be handed on to the rest of the faithful, listen favorably to our prayer and grant that your divine grace, which was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, may now spread through the hearts of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. those who have been confirmed, may you stand so that we can recognize you. 